everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. Guess what? I finished something. We're outside and Mary Beth's wearing a hat. Yeah. <laughs> We're inside. It's November. It's drafty in the castle. Yeah. Anyway, look, just look at the top of my hat. Can you see it? No. no top of the cap. There you go. Okay. Can you see? I love the top. <laughs> anyway, I made this out of our um Disney yarn. November's Disney yarn was Peter Pan. Okay, watch for hat head. <laughs> this was our Peter Pan colorway. It came out so great. It did. I love the way it starts here and does the loop, the stripe going up. I adore how it pulls on the top and the very, very top where it does the circles, kind of like a tam. So cool. This is the montage hat by uh, Helen Stewart. Okay. I can see a spot where I, I did the wrong thing. Oh, okay. It doesn't have the cable <laughs> properly, but it's lots and lots and lots of cables. Um, however, but it you was, it up quickly. It was, it took me, I think it was seven days altogether and I did not work on it every day. So there you go. I finished this Thanksgiving while we were sitting around the table after dinner. And I just adore the way it came out. It, it really looks did. fantastic. It really does. I did the size medium with 96 stitches because I really like the way that fits my head. Um, this is a little bit tighter on top because of the cables. But it's not a bad tight. It's kind of a comforting tight around yeah. your head. And it's it's really, it's not bad. But just know that it is going to be a little bit tighter with the cables. It's not that, it's not the tight where you know that, you know, within like 10 minutes, you're going to start to feel the hat go. Right. It's not that It's a all. snug fit. Yeah. Um, so, Peter Pan. That's it. I did it on size 7 and 9, I'm pretty sure. No, no. 4 and 6. 4 for the brim. 6 for... And you the used Aaron weight, not DK, yes. which is what the hat calls for. The hat called for DK. I used Aaron because so if you use DK, it's going to be a little bit looser than the than the, this. The Aaron. But I really, really like the way Helen Stewart's hats are coming out, knit in our sweater toad, which is Aaron weight, um, and using the ninety six stitches for the jumper. and the needle size that she calls for for DK weight because right. then you get a really really tight stitch so you're going to get a really warm hat. It is. It's really warm. So we have a basket at the bottom of the stairs just before you go out the door um, that we're putting all our hats in. So as you go out the door, you grab your hat and go. And it just depends on which day it is as to which you're wearing. What you're feeling. I you was know. being a mouse last night. But, okay. All right. I have doing this. Can I have you wait for me, please? 40. Okay, so it took a little over 60 grams to do it because our, our um, skeins are a little bit um, um, They'll be home generous. Like 100 and 110. Yeah, generous. So uh, between 60 and 65 grams, I think. That's how much I have left over. It's going to be perfect for my next project that I'm going to show you later. Yep. Okay, so that is my finished optic. Finished optic. Helen does not have anything to show today as far as yarn knitting projects in progress um, is concerned. So I'm going to just keep going because I have some more things to show It's you. the Mary Beth show. Today it is, yes. All right. <sighs> this is my Turkish Delight Shawl by Helen Stewart. Um, I was here when I showed it to you the last time. I have now finished this garter section and added the next bit of lace. This is brown paper packages. So this is all part of the Pink Santa collection. I think this is just so perfect. I'm sorry it's in the middle of the row, but you get the idea. You really can see the colors. It is so pretty. It really, it really is. is. So this is the third lace section. Then I do another garter. Then there's the fourth lace section. And then I have my last garter section. Have, oh, icicles left? Icicles is going to be the last one. So I am at, I think I'm 30% done now. Wow. Right. That's just going to show you how many stitches are going to be on the needles because I'm going to go from 30% to 100% with three more sections. Okay. 
And I've already done one, two, three, four, five, and I'm in my sixth. So I've done five and a half sections. So there are going to be three and a half more sections. Four and a half more sections. Three and a half more sections. Five and a half plus four, three and a half is nine. Five and a half. I'm done five and a half. There are going to be three and a half more. And that is going to take 70% of the shawl. Here we go. But that's the way it looks now. And for those of you that did not see our Friday's podcast, I put a picture of this up and Helen Stewart came in and liked it <laughs> and asked if she could share it. And my head exploded. So there you go. I will keep going and let you know how it works out. I adore it. I love working I on it. so pretty. I think it's the most beautiful thing. So I'm yeah. really having a lovely time with it. Yeah, I do too. All right, the last thing I have to show you is um, what I'm doing with my leftover Disney yarn. I had done a granny square with Mickey, and it was much bigger than this. I don't like it. I don't like this in a granny square. So I went on to Attic 24 and looked, and she has just a stripy blanket. It's double crochet. That's it. You cast on 198 stitches and then you double crochet your way through until you're done. She does... Is it straight double crochets or do you put chains in between? You put chains in between. Okay, so so you, know. you do a chain in between each row. Okay. No, just double crochets. Oh, and then you do a single crochet? You do like uh, three, cro three, three chains at the end. Oh, to bring yourself up to the next row. Right. Okay, yeah. But it's oh, just... okay, so there are no chains in between your doubles? Nope. Okay. So just double crochets. Um, so I have started doing this. She does two rows of each color. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do. I may do more than that, depending on what I have left of the yarn, but I'm liking this so much more. It's it, it for this particular yarn and the way we're dyeing these yarns, I think it works much better. Yeah. So I have just started my second row coming back. I cast this on Thanksgiving and got my first row done Thanksgiving night. So I am starting to come back now. So I'm going to see how I feel about the colors when they're not right on top of each other. You know, if yellow goes across black and black right, goes okay. across red, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to see how I feel about that. But this is what I'm going to do, excuse me, with my leftover Mickey. And then I'm going to start adding in my Peter Pan afterwards. And So how many chains did you do to start on your foundation row? The foundation row, I did 198, and um, when I came back, supposedly it was 196. Okay. She said you should wind up 196 in each row. I don't know. You didn't count. No. Well, I, was busy, count? Right. no, I was no, busy. I was busy just... trying to get my crochet hook through my foundation chain <laughs> because obviously I chain a little bit tight. So anyway, this is the way it looks right now, and I hope to keep showing you as it goes um but what i did was i just started unwinding my granny square and doing it into the chain and you don't mind this crocheting not so far okay we'll see what happens i don't know well the problem is that i usually get it so then then i don't i, I screw up the numbers or something and it goes all wonky and that kind of thing i don't know i'm gonna see i'm just playing around we'll see what happens it may turn into, you know what, I don't like this Next anymore. Next week, we're going to have Mary I'm Beth with her knitted blanket. I'm going to be blanket. <laughs> picking up all the stitches and turning it into a knitted blanket because that's what I really like to do anyway. Okay. Slight break. Well, several of them. <laughs> okay. So do you want to talk about what you're going to be doing? Uh, yeah. I um, It's not that I haven't been knitting. It's just I put in a couple of rows on this and I put in a couple of rows on this and there's no real significant progress to show from last week. Um. April forwarded us a post the other day uh, for some knit stockings, and I'm going to put them here. They're called the Woodland Stockings. Um, They're so amazing. They really are. And I'm like, geez, thanks so much, because now I have to knit those. <laughs> Drop everything <laughs> and start knitting. So she went running off and got the pattern. I did. I bought the pattern at 11 o'clock last night. Um, and then I've been thinking about the colors that I would do for them. So they're the Woodland Stockings by Allison Lutz, and there are four different uh, stockings. Patterns. Susan, in case you're wondering, there's a squirrel. Right. The so, right Susan will know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, so there's a bird, the squirrel, the rabbit, and the deer. So I have, I'm, I'm going to use just naked as a jaybird, naked as a jaybird in decay. And then one of them, I'm thinking I'm probably going to use poison apples. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure it's the squirrel. I'm going to do whimsical gourds. Whimsical gourds. Okay. Because I think that's just perfect for the squirrel. Yes. One of them I'm going to do with cottage brew. Oh my God, that is going to be... I mean, these are all oh, like, see? Oh my God. That they're going to be so gorgeous. Oh my God. Mm. This is so classic. Right. I mean, this red is... and white is just so right. classic. All right, and then what's the fourth? So then the fourth is gonna be a green. Okay. Um, I, of course, immediately thought of Mr. Carrisford. But I'm gonna slow my roll and like give other greens a chance. Why? So then I went with Sage, because, you know, if I can't have Mr. Carriage first, I'm going to go with Sage. I think that may not give me enough of a contrast that I, I want. Think it's kind of light. Yeah. So then I pulled Spruce, and I think we have a winner. I think you do. I think, because I think these three, you're planning to hang, hang them together, right? Probably. Okay, so these three all have a deep tonality to them. Right. Spruce that sage is too, yeah. doesn't have, That's but sweet. spruce does. If you put spruce over by these four, you can see how they're all the same deep right. base of tone. So I, I, I really think spruce is the right yeah. one. So these are my four. Yes, I think those are the right four. They're beautiful. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off to my personal yarn winder. Because I have one of those on the staff. <laughs> <laughs> um, our mother loves to wind, hand wind yarn. Not cake it. Just put it on her arms. Wind it into a ball. That's what she, she has been do. known to go and take yarn that doesn't belong to her. <laughs> and wind it. So we are going to give her an afternoon's worth <laughs> of something to do. <laughs> of winding. Um, and I will get one started. Okay. I mean, what size needle I does should, it take? Six. So, uh, do we have a six? Yeah, we should be able to have a six. If we don't have a six, I can either do a five or a seven. It's a seven. I, mean, it's a I know we have a seven and a sixteen inch, because. Oh, I was just going magic loop. You're gonna magic loop it, okay? I, I wasn't even really thinking. We'll okay, see. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Um, if we don't have it, I can I'm get sure one. We can probably. get one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm very excited. That's cool. I'm That's not sure I can cool. get four of them done in December with all the other stuff I'm doing. But we'll get see. excited. Right. Start something new. Yeah. It makes if it makes you happy and excited, start something new. So we'll give her the, the naked one first and then she can do Pick it. Pick whichever color four. one she wants right. and that's what you start with. So Okay, cool. Stay tuned. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah. It's gonna be very exciting. All right. Okay. Um I don't have anything new in the works yet other than um, we're dyeing up December's Disney yarn and I'm making sure that there's a sweater one in there so that I can start the next hat from the uh, Helen Stewart collection because that's what I'm doing, knitting all the Helen Stewart hats in our Disney yarn. Right. Um, that is it for my knitting stuff. We are going to be doing cross stitch next week because it will be after the end of November. So we will show you the progress that we made on our November whip goes. Right. Um, Spoiler alert, not much, but there's some. Speak for yourself. Helen, Helen. I finished sorry. something. I have not gotten that much and done. Hopefully by next Tuesday I will have it fully finished. And Well, I was going to say I have five more days in which to try and get as much done as possible. <laughs> so I have something to tell you. <laughs> but I mean, you have been working on them. I have, and my problem has been this past week, um, I just... Every time I sit down, I right. fall asleep. So I'm feeling good today. We're going to get stuff done today. It's going to be a good one. But we do have to pick our December Whipgo numbers. So if you are doing Whipgo with us, whether it's cross stitch, knitting, whatever, are you ready for your numbers? Yes. We're yes. Here we're going. We have to have time to prepare and get ready for God Friday. Mm, that's kind of frightening. All right. So, Helen, would you like to pick a number? I will pick a number. Did you drop a number? I don't think so. Okay, go ahead, pick a number. All right, let's see. 
It can't be an epic one for me because I had both of those in November. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is going to be 15. 15. Number 15. I gotta find my bullet here. Is Bear and the Girl needs to be kicked. I'm guessing that's a Madame Chantilly. It is a Madame Chantilly. And it's over there in that basket somewhere. Helen is going to find... It's in that basket? I think, I, I think it's one of the new ones we bought. Oh, maybe. All right. We will find a I'm picture gonna of put, it. I'm going to put a picture. going to put it right, right here. My 15 is uh, Stitch Rovia's Little Magic. Oh, cool. What's that? It's uh, You bought the dark fabric for it. We'll put a picture here. Is that the, is that it? So the words with magic. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Okay, Out obviously <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I've never seen that before in my life. <laughs> I bought it. I know I did. Bear and the girl. It is a Christmas one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, I know why we bought it. Right. That is, can you see that? I'll have put it, I'll put a picture in too, because right. I said we were going to put pictures in. The bear looks very, very much, much like right. my dog. So I'm now doing Halloween. And I'm doing Christmas. Which I don't want to do. I want to do Christmas. So we'll do it. done any Christmas. You'll add a Christmas one in if you don't pull one. Yeah. Okay. Where's the bowl? Ah. In front of you. Okay. Here we go. Next number is... Number four. So what is your number four? Oh, fine. What is it? At least it's to Christmas. It's my Christmas frogs. I should finish it. <sighs> What's yours? Oh. What's oh, no, the opposite? No, it's not that. It's that. Crocodile. It's Croquette to go Oh. Pairs reading. Pause reading. Oh, you're doing two Halloween. I'm doing two <laughs> Halloween. This is my second one. So I'm doing two Halloween this month. I'm definitely going to have to find a Christmas one yeah. to put in there because um, this is just ridiculous. You can start like uh, maybe one of the crickets or something. Yeah, maybe. All right. So number four, number 15. If you have your whip go ready, let us know what you are doing. Are Either you doing Halloween? Are you doing Christmas? Let us know. Yeah. Are you finishing something? Um, yeah, just let us know what you're doing. So put them in the comments below and let us know what your whip go brought up for you. Yeah. All right. I think I have like a quarter left on those frogs, so I should probably be able to. Oh, all right. Well, that'll Depending be cool. on what our December looks like. I, should I am finish. pretty sure I'm just starting. Both of them. Starting both of them. So, um the way I'm going to be finishing but that's okay they'll be ready to go for next year and my the good news is with, like with Madame Chantilly she only uses like you know like nine colors or whatever that is true so, like, kidding it up so that's true year. that's that's definitely true okay so well um I have the fabric for it because I bought that fabric for it um yeah I need to find fabric but I know we have we have fabric for yes it, so and then um, the croquette go go that I'm going to use that new, um, yeah, that we just got because that's going to be perfect for the yeah. background. Yeah. So, okay. All right. There you go. We have our projects ready to go. Very right. exciting. All right. Well, we jumped right into the projects and the creative stuff right away because I had my hat and I wasn't very excited to tell you about it. Um, so shall we do a little life update? Sure. We had Thanksgiving. We talked a little bit about that on Friday. Um, yesterday, we had a Zoom meeting with sister number three and one of our friends down in Florida and had a lovely three hours just chatting and creating. And um, we working all had with paper projects fun, yeah. that we were working on. And it was really, really fun. Um, it was a great way to do it, um, you know, with the friends afar. Um, and, you know, they're companionable silences while everybody's working. And then, you know, we go off on a topic or whatever. But we all got something done. Right. Um, and something that we probably would not have started working on 
or done otherwise without being together in the group right um so it was yeah it was really nice it was it was a lot of fun and um, i made a couple christmas cards yes and, and i started a memory album that was a really very interesting in how to do it. The first thing I had to do was figure out what they were talking about, but I got <laughs> through that. Oh, and then I sliced my finger open on the um, paper shredder or the paper cutter that we had. So I had to go take care of that. Um, what fun is it if you're not bleeding? I, I, at really, least once. Right? <laughs> are you really crafting if you're not bleeding? Right, honestly. <laughs> if there are no tears or blood, right. is it really a craft? <laughs> And then um, you have been spending a lot of time outside getting ready for next year. Yes, I have been planting, it feels like a bazillion bulbs. Um, and, and it's not, maybe I thought I was complaining um, because I'm down to two more bags. Right. That's it. That's all I have are two more bags left to do. Um, it wasn't so much complaining. It sounded like you were really excited that you were down to the final two. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah so okay. I'm, I stupidly said, okay, so we won't be buying any more bulbs. And I get, why not? We won't be buying any more bulbs because I'm really, I'm pushing the limit uh, on the, the freeze on the ground anyway. Um, but I, today I was doing ranunculus and tulips and hyacinths and a whole bunch. Of, I have a, a million different daffodils. Um, I have some crocuses to put in and then some more daffodils to put in. And it's going to be so pretty. It is. I have high, uh, little grape hyacinths. I have regular hyacinths. We have all brands of tulips one of them have little ragged edges um next i've got spring, the double daffodils it's gonna be so yeah. gorgeous and i've put them all over um I've got i'm some, not going to know where anything i have in my journal i have i did little maps oh cool so we can go back and see whether they actually oh, that's came fantastic. up where they're supposed that's to that's a great idea um so they're they're randomly um placed and some of them was just you know i had a hole and i threw three of her bulbs in um we're gonna see what happens and uh one of the beds today i did um i had a bag of tulips a bag of hyacinths and a bag of daffodils and i just emptied all three bags into the um the box and just oh okay, okay. mixed them up and then just went around oh and i did some snowdrops because i have some orange pink and yellow snowdrops and I've only ever seen snowdrops as white right so I'm very excited about those oh, that's gonna be so I funny. only got five of each so we'll see how they come up okay um, all right yeah. well, stay tuned yeah yeah you're gonna have to keep coming back until spring and I forgot about the snowdrops in my map so I have to put them in okay all Perfect. right um so yeah I had my my music playing talk to people as they walk by it was really kind of fun oh, it's good I have a blister on my hand <laughs> from my tool um but it's okay. Yeah. You're still going to be able to cross stitch and you're going to be able to knit. So right. Nice. I said rather I've got a blister on my hand and the first question is, can you knit? Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what's important. There would have been a lot more wailing <laughs> if I thought that that was going to be <laughs> impeded. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm very excited. And if you follow us on Instagram, I put up that we're putting together a tea station um, on our in the kitchen. Helen will put a picture up here. So that you can see what it looks like. It looks really, really pretty. Um, we found we need... some really cool. Maybe I've got some tin, tins from England. Well, tins. they were supposed to be for Helen's birthday. Because I was going to put this all together for her birthday. Which is in the middle of December. But then we were at Home Goods And we found um, Alice and Winnie the Pooh tea tins. tea tins. And we all got very excited about that. And then I had to give her her Peter Rabbit and her English ones. <laughs> So that it would all go together, and then we got some stands from, um, you know, the big thing that delivers immediately, and um, put them up so that we could have all the tea tins where they're supposed right. to be. And then I went and got another one because I want one for the mugs. So I put the mugs up because we change our mugs seasonally. Um, so the mugs are up now, and it just proves that we need a lot more Christmas mugs. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to keep an eye out for some more Christmas mugs or winter mugs. Um, we need some snowman mugs. For January. For yeah. January. But we'll, we'll see. And then we'll just keep changing them out. Right. But it's a, it looks really pretty in the kitchen. It really does. Um, so we did that. And um, yeah, it's been, you know, getting ready for the holiday and then recovering from the holiday. Right. <laughs> That's pretty much what it's yeah. been. 
Um, I think we're pretty much done with Thanksgiving leftovers, which, thank God, um, <laughs> there were a lot of them. We have a little mash. We're doing bangers and mash. Yeah, we're doing tonight. bangers and mash tonight. But other than that, we're, I think we're pretty much done. Um, oh, and then last night we watched Catch a Thief with my mom, which holds up really, really well. Grace Kelly and Cary Grant, it's really kind of hard to go wrong with those two. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was that was really enjoyable. Um, so it's amazing you go onto Amazon Prime and you watch one movie and it's like all the ones that they bring up afterwards because I mean Mary Beth was going through we could do the birdcage we could do this we could do this a fish called Wando right um, White Christmas Holiday Inn and she said to catch a thief in my mom went well I go okay, okay. to catch a thief it is there you go and now Charade is coming up so okay <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock and Cary Grant okay um, so yeah that's uh, that's what we've been doing so it's been just quiet you know, but nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, so last Friday on our Friday podcast, we do them live when we chat with everybody as we're making things. Um, on Friday's podcast, we were talking about all different kinds of holiday bakes. You know, what kind of things do you like to bake for Christmas? And we had a really good discussion going um, with, you know, all the different suggestions that were coming through. It was really, really cool. So I made a list of them and we're going to start making some of them and we'll right. show you some of those. But if you would like to join us, we do it Friday at noon, um, Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to join us on Friday, we will be having another discussion. I'm not sure what we're talking about this Friday yet, but we'll have something. Right. So come see us. Because we've already discussed Friday mo um, holiday movies, holiday baking, and when is the right time to start listening to Christmas music. And decorating. Yeah. And decorating. That's right. So it was all big thing. Yeah. But we had a lot of fun doing it. So come join us Friday noon, Eastern Standard Time. So I think that is pretty much it, right? Is there anything else? No, I think that does it. I am reading Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies and really, really liking it. Um, so if you haven't read that yet and fairies are your kind of thing, this might be something that's up your alley. Especially since the new really one is coming it. out in a couple months. Yeah. So. I'm I'm really really liking it, um, but yeah. And you? I'm reading in the Lives of Puppets by T. J. Clune, and I think by T. J. Clune says it all. Okay. It's not um it's not under the Whispering Door or the Cerulean Sea. It's not that good, um, but I'm still pretty sure it's gonna be like a five star read. Um, okay. Just not a under the Whispering Door in the Cerulean Sea. Like five star read locked uh, away in my heart right. <laughs> he does characters so well yes he does um because there's one particular character and it seems like there always is one um that you're not it's not that you don't like you dislike them though you might um it's just you're kind of ambivalent towards them or whatever especially this one particular one and then all of a sudden it's just like okay i need this character in my life okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, all of a sudden. And, all right, I'm going to have to read this. And I was uh, uh, just thinking it, it was like permeating my sleep. Not dreaming about them, but permeating my sleep last, the other night. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this book is obviously getting to me. Um, yeah. So, In the That's Lives good. of Puppets by... It's his latest, uh, T.J. Klum's latest. Okay. All right. Cool. It's sci-fi, so if that's your thing. If that's not your thing, just know going in that it's uh, robots and puppets and that kind of thing. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we are off because I have to start shopping for Helen's book vent and um, start getting that going. Also, we have to find advent calendars for the nephews, chocolate filled advent calendars for the nephews. I knew exactly where to go in Beach Haven. I, don't know which <laughs> here. I will find it, but right. I have to find it. Um, so we have to get those in the mail soon. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to this afternoon. And Helen, I think, is going to be cross-stitching, right? Uh, yeah, and um, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Go forth and create. And we will see you on Friday, live, 12 Eastern. Yes, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to go now. We're going to go now. On bye. that note, bye. <laughs>